What if ambition outpaces feasibility in large-scale projects? Can a city be built in a straight line stretching over a hundred miles? Welcome to the story of Saudi Arabia's Line City. As we embark on this journey, let's first take a step back to understand the broader context. The year was 2016 and Saudi Arabia had just unveiled a grand strategy named Vision 2030. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill development plan, oh no, it was a sweeping blueprint for the future of the kingdom aimed at diversifying the economy away from its heavy dependence on oil. A cornerstone of this ambitious plan was the creation of two megacity projects, Neom and The Line. These were not just cities, but futuristic utopias that were to redefine the concept of urban living. The vision was grand, the plans were grander, and the world watched with bated breath as Saudi Arabia embarked on this audacious journey. Now let's shift our focus to The Line. This wasn't just any city, the line was envisaged as a 105-mile-long, straight-as-an-arrow, futuristic glass-walled city. Yes, you heard that right, a city built in a straight line stretching over 100 miles. Imagine skyscrapers and residences, parks and shopping districts, all lined up in a perfect, linear harmony. A city without cars, without roads, a city where everything you need is within a five-minute walk. It was a vision that seemed straight out of a science fiction novel. But as we all know, turning science fiction into reality is no easy task. The Line was a project that was unprecedented, untested, and unbelievably ambitious. And as it turns out, ambition, while a powerful driving force, can sometimes lead to a crash landing. However, the grandiose vision soon encountered several obstacles, leading to a drastic scaleback of the project. The story of The Line is a fascinating study in ambition, feasibility, and the complexities of large-scale projects. But that's just the beginning, so stay tuned as we delve deeper into why Saudi Arabia's $2 trillion line city is failing. The path to innovation is often strewn with challenges, and the line city was no exception. The initial vision was grand, but the reality has been a series of setbacks and obstacles. One of the most notable challenges has been funding cuts. As with any project of this magnitude, the financial investment required is substantial, the Line City was no different, with a price tag in the trillions. However, the funding has been anything but consistent. Cuts have been made, hindering the progress of the project and forcing a scaling back of some of the most ambitious elements. Logistical issues have also plagued the project. Building a city from scratch is no small feat, and the logistics of such an endeavor are complex. The latest setback involved difficulties in material logistics and labor approval, which have further delayed construction. Navigating these logistical challenges has been a significant hurdle, slowing progress and adding to the growing list of setbacks. But the challenges haven't been limited to just funding and logistics. The Line City has also sparked controversy due to its potential impact on native communities and the environment. The project's ambition has been met with concern about how it could disrupt local communities and the surrounding natural landscape. These concerns have added another layer of complexity to the project, contributing to the delays and difficulties. And perhaps most concerning of all is the question of feasibility. The significant reduction in the scale of the project raises questions about whether the initial vision was ever truly achievable. It's one thing to dream big, but it's another to turn those dreams into reality. The Line City has been a lesson in the complexities and challenges of large-scale innovation. These challenges forced a significant reduction in the scale of the project, leading many to question its feasibility. The path to innovation is not a straight line, and as the Line City has shown, it's often filled with unexpected twists and turns. Sometimes the gap between ambition and reality is wider than expected. The Line City is a prime example. Let's delve into how this grand vision has been forced to contract into a fraction of its original size. The Line City project, initially sprawling over 100 miles, has been drastically reduced to a mere one and a half miles. But why such a drastic reduction? The answer lies in value engineering, a method aimed at optimizing the value of goods or products and services by examining their function. In the case of the Line City, it seems the grandiose vision wasn't quite aligning with the practicalities and realities of implementation. This monumental project also raised eyebrows due to the involvement of Western architects. The question of cultural relevance and sensitivity comes into play when foreign hands are steering the design and construction of a project deeply rooted in a specific locale. The debate isn't just about the aesthetics but also about whether these architects can truly comprehend and respect 
the unique cultural, historical, and environmental contexts of Saudi Arabia. Let's not forget the environmental implications of such large-scale projects. The Line City with its futuristic glass-walled design was set to be a beacon of modernity, but at what cost? The impact on the environment is a factor that cannot be ignored. The construction and maintenance of such a city would require vast amounts of energy and resources, potentially causing significant environmental damage. Moreover, these mega-projects often neglect the potential displacement of native communities and the disruption of local ecosystems. The pursuit of progress should not overshadow the importance of preserving and respecting the natural environment and its inhabitants. The drastic scale-back raises serious questions about the feasibility of such large-scale projects. It serves as a stark reminder that ambition, while necessary for progress, must always be balanced with practicality and respect for the environment and local culture. It's a reality check that sometimes, the seemingly impossible remains just that, impossible. Despite the setbacks, what does the future hold for the Line City? As we look ahead, the future of the Line City is shrouded in uncertainty. The ambitious project, once a beacon of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, now stands as a testament to the challenges of bringing such grandiose dreams to reality. The current status of the Line City is far from the initial projections. The once 105-mile city has been downsized to a mere mile and a half, a drastic reduction that has left many wondering if the project will ever reach completion. Yet, it would be premature to completely write off the Line City. Though the project has faced significant hurdles, the vision for a futuristic, eco-friendly city still holds potential. There may be future plans to revive and reshape the project with the focus shifting from the grand scale to more feasible, incremental developments. However, these plans remain speculative at this point, and any further progress will largely depend on overcoming the logistical and financial challenges that have plagued the project so far. The implications of the Line City's struggles extend beyond the project itself. They cast a shadow on Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, the country's ambitious plan to diversify its economy and reduce its dependence on oil. The Line City was a cornerstone of this vision, a symbol of the nation's commitment to innovation and sustainable development. Its failure, or even significant delay, could have far-reaching consequences for the overall progress of Vision 2030. But it's not all doom and gloom. The lessons learned from the Line City could prove invaluable for future projects. The setbacks might prompt a reassessment of strategies, leading to more realistic planning and better risk management. In this sense, the Line City could serve as a valuable case study, providing insights into the complexities of large-scale futuristic urban development. Only time will tell if the Line City will ever realize its ambitious vision or remain as a reminder of a dream too far-fetched. So, what can we learn from the story of the Line City? Our journey through the ambitious vision of Saudi Arabia's $2 trillion Line City project has revealed some important lessons. The first key takeaway is the critical importance of feasibility in large-scale projects. As we've seen, even the most ambitious visions can stumble when faced with the practical realities of implementation. The Line City was an audacious endeavor part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, plan to diversify its economy away from oil. However, as the project developed, it faced significant challenges and setbacks. Funding cuts, logistical issues, and the sheer scale of the project all contributed to its struggle. In addition, the potential impact on native communities and the environment sparked controversy. These factors, among others, resulted in the project being scaled back drastically, from 105 miles to just one and a half miles. This brings us to our second key takeaway, the delicate balance between ambition and practicality. The Line City project was undoubtedly ambitious, but it arguably lacked a realistic appraisal of its practicalities. The project's failure to achieve its initial scale underlines the importance of considering practical constraints and potential impacts from the outset. Lastly, we might consider how the story of the Line City reflects the broader challenges of achieving sustainable development. The project was part of a larger vision to transition Saudi Arabia's economy away from oil, yet its setbacks highlight the difficulties of implementing such a transition especially when it involves large-scale, ambitious projects. In the end, the Line City serves as a stark reminder of the complexities involved in balancing ambition with feasibility in large-scale projects.
Thank you for joining us on this journey into the ambitious world of Mega City Projects.